What was it? Allah says, وَإِن اللَّهِ لَا تُحْصُوهَا If you are going to count the favors of Allah, you won't be able to count all of them. In a nutshell, that's what the verse means. If you are going to count the favors of Allah, try to count them all, you won't be able to count them all. So Allah has blessed you and I with favors that none of us are able to count. Not one of us. How did Allah favor you? Well, He gave me my life to begin with. He made me a believer. He's given me my eyes, my nose, my lips, my tongue, my teeth. What else? He's given me my identity. He's made me able, capable. He's given me people around me. He's given me perhaps a job, an income, whatever it may be. Some might be thinking, no, I don't have some of what you just mentioned now. Right? So that takes us to the point. The point is, if Allah tells you, you will never be able to count my favors upon you, I promise you the challenges He put in your life, you will be able to count those. They are only a handful. I ask all of you, myself included, how many difficulties do you have in your life? Start counting. I promise you, you'll say, I've got this problem, that challenge, this issue, that family matter, this problem at work, this issue with my health, and that matter, how many is that? Seven. And what about the gifts of Allah? How many did you count? But to you, those seven are finished. That's it, my life is over. I don't want to live anymore. I don't want to see anyone. But there's seven things you counted. That's it. You count ten things. I promise you, you probably won't go beyond ten things. And I swear, think about it, all of us. You think your life is a mess and you think you're going through challenge upon challenge. Trust me, there won't be more than 10 in most cases. Major things going wrong in your life. What is it? Not much. That's the gift of Allah. So, when we assist others, Allah assists us. But there is something way more important than just giving financially. One day, I was seated with a brother and Someone threw some money at him for a cause that he was collecting for. And he was elderly, so he looked at the young man who was a businessman. He says, can you pick it up and give it to me respectfully because I'm collecting on behalf of the poor. You don't throw money at them. Subhanallah. He's teaching someone and he had the guts to say that, the courage. And when I was sitting there, I felt so awkward because this was also a VIP, an important guy. But the way he threw the money, you don't throw the money. Why? More important than your cash is the respect that you offer the poor. Now I go back to Surah al duha one of my favorite. We go through challenges and problems. What does Allah say? Yes, it is to Muhammad, peace be upon him. We have not forsaken you, we're not upset with you. But the lesson is for all of us. Sometimes we think, is Allah upset with me? Is he angry with me? Well, I tell you that question is not a bad question because perhaps it may help you improve in certain aspects of your life. But don't get depressed by the question because chances are that's not the case. Chances are Allah just wants you to come closer to Him. And perhaps He may not be giving you exactly what you want because of what we mentioned earlier that He knows it's not good for you at all or not good for you at this particular moment. So He's delaying it. You failed your examination. He wants you to have all A's next year. Why? Who knows? I'm going to say something silly. Let me say it. You might meet someone who you end up marrying, subhanAllah, and your life started and mashallah, why? Because I failed. So I ended up in this classroom and mashallah, I couldn't help but notice a person who deserves to be a wife. Wow. Thanks to your failure. <laughs> mashallah. But it could happen, it might be a silly example, but it's something you've got to think about, ponder, maybe Allah did not want you to work at a certain place because he needed you to interact with others at another place altogether. Whatever. Trust him. Then Allah says, You want, don't you? Allah says, very soon we will give you so much. Until the point when you will be happy. 
in the Arabic language that fa has so many meanings. One of them is to the point of. To the point of. So Allah will give you so much to the point of happiness, to the point that you are you are so happy. I remember visiting a country in Africa once. I mentioned this in my lectures in the past, but I want to say it again. And these people were relatively poor. Many years ago, I was quite young. And I visited them at my expense. They had invited me for a few days. And I could see they were struggling just to host the guests they had. But it's okay. We grew up in Africa too. And we were okay with that. It doesn't really mean much. It's fine whether it's this way or that way. I'm not too much into food and all the luxuries and so on. So I know it's fine. But on the last day they were excited because they had a little ceremony of farewell. And they said to me, we have a gift to give you. The one brother, he now he's a good friend of mine. But at the time I didn't really know him much. I just had met him two, three days, the, the tour that I had. And then he tells me, oh, we have a gift. We want to present it to you. Mashallah, I'm excited. These guys are probably going to give me a souvenir from this place. Something amazing. And you know what? He calls me up. He says, we have a gift to give you. And then I walked up the stage and I'm shaking his hand. He faces uh, the, 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 the public or the people who had gathered. He looks and he says, my brother gave me a hug and he says, the gift we want to give you is a verse of the Quran. That's it. I promise you, I shed a tear. Because it was very sincere. It means we have nothing material to give you. But we pray that Allah gives you so much until you're happy. I swear, every time I achieve something in my life, somehow my mind keeps going back, seeing the face of this brother and what he said. To this day, to this day. And I remember him all the time and I send him messages and I've met him after that a few times, but I've never had that before or after. That is a powerful verse Allah will give you. You do something for his cause, he owns entire creation. Tonight, Allah did not need you and I to help people. He would do it himself. He's only giving us an opportunity. 